Hello. Welcome to my Save for the Web optimization tutorial for Photoshop Cloud. Um, most of the time we want to put our photos on social media or send somebody um, an image through email, um, maybe even upload to a competition. Um, and to do that, it needs to be, your file needs to be a size that can go over the internet or over an email um, at, at a really quick rate. Uh, you don't want it too big. Coming right out of the camera, they're just too large to do that with. Um, so what we need to do is optimize them to a smaller size that has really good quality and doesn't lose degradation or get pixelated. The way to do that is in Photoshop, they offer a handy little tool called Save for the Web. Um, I think it's now Export Save for the Web. Depending on the uh, version of Photoshop you use, um, it's either under File, Save for the Web, or File Export Save for the Web. So I have a photo open here. And a lot of the times before I post an image on social media or anywhere out there on the big, you know, great big world wide web, um, I like to put my watermark on it. Um, you can see here, oh, you can see here that I have a little watermark here. Um, I like to put a watermark on so that nobody can steal my image once it's uploaded to the internet, not without having to do a lot of work to get my name off there. Or um, so, so a watermark is always a good idea. Sometimes in competition, you can't really use a watermark; they don't like your name on there. So, but in, for other reasons, for any other reason, I would put my name on it. Anyway, back to save for the web. So I've got my image here. And um, right now the image is 300 dots per inch or 300 pixels per inch, which would be PPI, pixels per inch, and DPI would be dots per inch. That pertains more to printing. So we're dealing more with screen viewing. That's why we're going to deal with pixels per inch. So this is 300 pixels per inch. It's 17 by a little more than 17 by 11 inches in diameter in, in actual physical size that it would be printed at. If you were going to print this, it would print at 17 by 11. Um, the pixel dimension that it is, is 3,456 pixels by 5,184. Um, and the file size is 51.3 megabytes. That's quite a large file and too big to be sent over the internet. What we want to do is bring this down to, um, we want to bring the pixel size down to about 900 pixels by 600 pixels. So that's our goal, is to optimize this file to be much smaller but still look just as great as it does right now. So. Okay, to wait, the way to do that is you go to File, and depending on the version of Photoshop, it would be Save, Save As, or Save for the Web, or if you have the cloud, Save for the Web is now under Export. So you would go to Export, Save for the Web, or you could do the shortcut, which is always good to learn, and that would be Alt, Shift, Control, S. That would bring you right to this window. So once this little window opens, right now it's loading a 5,000 pixel image. And uh, a lot of times a message might come up that says um, this file is too large and may have run into problems. Just say okay to that because really I've never run into any problems. And once you resize it, um, it won't be that large anymore. So now here it is. It's a very large file. You can see that... Um, you can see how large it is, okay? So what we wanna do is we want to bring this down. Let's say that you are entering a competition or somebody wants a proof of your work, but they don't want it to exceed certain dimensions. So um, let's say that they've got their dimensions set. They don't want it to be more than 900 pixels on the long side, and they don't want the file sites larger than 300 kilobytes. 
So what we would do is right now, right here under image size, the file is 5,184 pixels. That is the longest side, which makes this a vertical image because the height is the is the longest side. So the longest side cannot be more than 900 pixels. So we would highlight that, change that to 900, either hit enter or apply. And that brings our image down to 900 by 600 pixels because it automatically adjusts the width, the short side, to the tall side. So now we've got a 900 by 600 pixel image. The quality up here in the top right corner, you're going to see um, you're going to see a little menu that you can drop down, and it'll have have options as to what type of file you want to save it as. Um, a GIF is oftentimes an animated image. Um, that's the only format, if I'm not mistaken, um, that will allow uh, animation um, of still images. So, and that's a very small file size. You can save a, um, an image as a GIF, but the the color quality will be quite diminished. So what we really want is a JPEG. There's other ones like Ping 8 color and Ping 24 color, um, but JPEG is what you would want to save for social media or competition or online viewing. So my image, now that it was shrunk down to 900 pixels by 600 pixels, it changed the quality from um, maximum, which made it 100% quality over here, it changed it to very high and brought it down to 98% quality. Um, so that's the difference in um, the quality of the image so far, since I've all I've done is, sh is shrank the um, pixel size. So now let's say um, the the people that have the rules on your image don't want it larger than 300 kilobytes uh, in file size. So to make sure that your file doesn't exceed their limitations, you're going to want to go over here to the top right corner, um, right next to the JPEG option, and there's a little menu you click on. And you're going to want to go to Optimize to File Size. Inside there, you're going to see desired file size. I already have 300 kilobytes in there, but when I opened it the first time, it was 35. Um, I want to show you what difference it makes when I change this. So at 35 kilobytes, that brings the quality of the image down to medium and the quality is only 34. So let's go back in here and put that back up to 300 because that's the limit that they're putting on us. So let's put 300 kilobytes in there. Now that is to ensure that this file size will not exceed 300, but it can go lower than 300. It won't go much. It just depends on um, where that size falls depending on the image size that you've chosen. We've chosen 900 by 600 at 300, kil at 300 kilobyte limit. It might make it 296 or something like that, but it will never exceed 300, putting you in the perimeters of um, the request. So don't worry about any of these other settings here. They're on what they need to be and you don't ever have to change those for this. So just click OK to 300 kilobytes and that brings our quality up to very high and 98%. So we're at nine, 900 by 600 pixels, very high quality, 98%, and it will not exceed 300 kilobytes. So now this is what your image is going to look like. The quality is just excellent. It's, it's as good as it's going to get um, for web viewing. Uh, and if you want to know how long it's going to take for this to load, um, or how big this file really is, this file turned out, if you look in your lower left corner, um, you will see that it is a JPEG. It's 294.2 kilobytes, so it's less than the 300. Um, it will take four seconds to load at a internet speed of one megabits per second, which is cable or DSL, um, something uh, a, a good quality um, internet connection. Up here, these are like modem, um, you know, like dial-up speed. You don't ever want to set it on that. That that tells you it's going to take 210 seconds, you know, to load at, at dial-up speed. But most people have a one megabit per second connection. So this image 
is going to take four seconds to send over an email or upload to um, an internet site. So now that we have the image exactly where we want it, all you do is click save, put it where you want it on your hard drive so that you know where to find it again. I always make a little folder called save for the web. That way I know anything going on the internet is in that folder. And I have already saved it here once, so I'll just replace it. And that's it. You've now got your save, save for the web and optimized file um, in the exact perimeters um, that uh, and stipulations that maybe a contest is um, putting on you. Okay, well, there you go. And thanks for watching, and I hope that uh, this helped you. Have a great day.